Okay, this is creating a reference plane advanced series. Now in this uh, version of creating a reference plane, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a very quick reference plane. Now, my last one uh, that was long laboring, um, to me that's uh, a lot more work than it really needs to be. Um, I created this uh, version because I wanted to do this faster and better. And so right now I'm going to show you how to do a quick, no it's not. Here we go. Here is a quick reference plane, reference setup. So we're instead, this time, last time we did a plane, this time we're going to do a box. And we're going to go to top view here, make sure that this says top. And we're going to drag out. Now, last time I was doing like a 1955 or 54 Bel Air. It's going to be the same one this time. So you should have a box that's way too tiny. I'm going to increase its height just a little bit here by going to the Modify panel. And there we go. That looks decent. Now I'm going to right click, go to Edible Poly. Or if I want to, I can right click here, convert to Edible Poly. Now, the reason why we use Edible Poly is because Edible Poly is better. Uh, it is better for modeling, and um, it's my opinion. So that's the only reason I can give you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select, make sure that I didn't select any extreme, extra, and hit delete. Look, there it is. There's my four setups. Now, instead of using the cut-up uh, images that we used in our last tutorial, we're actually going to use our all-in-one image. So all I'm going to do here is first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select M for material. So now I'm in my material editor. I can get rid of all of these. I don't need these anymore. We can get rid of that too. All this stuff is garbage, whatever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into standard. And I am going to set up by going to the diffuse box, a checker map. Now, what a checker map allows me to do is allows me to know whether or not I have perfect squares. This is actually going to be really easy. Do this anytime that you're UV mapping. It is highly recommended. So, now that I have my UV map here, or I'm sorry, my, <laughs> my box, I'm going to hit Control A. It's going to select all my uh, planes. And I am going to apply this now to my planes. It's very interesting. Hold on one second here. Let me make sure that that's on. Hit M. don't know why it does that sometimes it's a little annoying but whatever so now we already know this is perfect uh, UV maps already set up sorry about that short delay this new material slate editor thing is kind of annoying um, I'm gonna switch it back to its original um, next time I open this before I begin a new tutorial uh, that way people know what it looks like so anyway I'm gonna hit in get rid of that and this looks good. And I am going to actually go back to here, add in standard. And now I'm going to add, pardon me, sorry about that. I'm going to add the all in one image. Please stop doing that, Windows 7. You're really pissing me off. Windows 7 is good, it just can be annoying. So there's car all that I downloaded from the uh, website uh, the-blueprints.com and now that I have that selected here okay, here's going to be annoying again here wonderful absolutely wonderful okay there we go and we're going to want to see what we got and that's what we got now here comes the fun part 
We're going to get rid of that by hitting M. That was the material editor. We hit M to get rid of it and M to bring it back. Now we're going to go to our modifier list right here. Click modifier list. Scroll this all the way down to UVW, un pardon me, unwrap UVW. And then we're going to hit what we want to do is actually select individually, but it doesn't matter, this is already set up. So we're going to hit edit, and we can't see anything, so we're going to select up here. This is where all our textures are at. Here's our car, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools, and we're going to go to pack UVs. What pack UVs does is, as you see here, where these green uh, lines are, these create boxes. And those boxes are actually perfectly uh, ready for UV mapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pack UVs and spacing you don't really need to worry about. If you want a lot of spacing, yeah, increase that. But and hit OK. And there's my three boxes. And you notice immediately right here that they actually uh, have almost gotten perfectly where we want them to be. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to actually spruce them up a little bit. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to click this one right here, and this is actually our front. If you're not sure, you can select them, and then you'll see that right here, those are the ones that are selected. And I'm just going to actually set this to by holding down my mouse button here. I'm going to set this to scroll horizontally. And I'm just going to do half. If you guys remember why we only do half, is because we only need model half. And I'm going to select this right here, and I'm going to mirror it. And there's that one right there. And then we're going to do our bottom. Actually, our side here. Let's do our side first here. So what we can do select all these ones. Let's just move this guy out of the way here. And actually that's where I want him anyway. And then we're just going to move this over our left image. And I'm just going to continue to move it. And then I am going to go back up here and select these ones right here. And I'm going to move this one so that it fills only half. Because remember, once again, we only need half. And it looks like oh, I got this the wrong way here. So what I got to do is I got to rotate it. So I got to select all of my vertices. And rotate it around so that it's correct. Now I'm just going to move these back down just a little bit here and move this up so it's right at the halfway point. Now I'm going to select these two right here and I'm going to move these down these back here and there we go. They're in there. Alright, that is advanced reference modeling, or setting up your reference plans. Notice how quickly that was done, actually. Um, always keep in mind that this is uh, a quicker way to do it, especially for you advanced modelers. Uh, once again, uh, you can email me at C O R N E L A S 1883 at yahoo.com if you have any questions or if you want to leave me a comment please do um, always uh, check by mr. o class dot wordpress dot com uh, I'm always uploading more tutorials and I always appreciate more comments thank you we'll see you again